Hello, welcome to Clickly. Today we'll introduce two basic objects in Clickly, doodads and destructibles. First, let's take a look at an interesting desert maze. In today's lesson, we will reproduce the desert base together. The course will include Placement of doodads Doodads attribute added Placement of destructibles and destructibles attribute added Open quickly. Let's first draw a terrain for the maze area and use different topography to outline the prototype. You can see the doodads column in place object on the right side of the interface. What are doodads? Doodads are decorations that adorn the scene, such as trees, flowers, etc. Placement of doodads is the same as the units. Click the left mouse button unit to select the doodad you want. Move the mouse button to the map interface. And click the left mouse button again to place it on the map. The same doodad can be replaced repeatedly by clicking on the map interface continuously. If you want to place a large number, you can long press the left mouse button and drag. Select the doodad with the left mouse button. The 3 in 1 widget and buttons will appear. The operations of moving, rotating and scaling are the same as the units mentioned in the previous lesson. The desert maze is basically built with topography, walls, and fillers. Select the appropriate models, properly rotate the angles, and the maze is almost done. Select doodads. We can also place some trees as decoration around the maze. In place, preset by setting the brush size, placement density, default, and random size. We can achieve mass placement with one click.
Lastly, we can look at the overall terrain and then make some optimizations to the visual presentation. Now, the maze terrain is completed. Select Doodads in the game scene. The Edit Attribute section will be displayed on the right side of the interface. We can directly edit and modify the doodad information here, including the name, location, rotate, and scale. Doodads have no attributes such as health, inventory, and skill. They do not collide and only exist as environment decoration. We have a new term here, collision size. All objects that can interact have a range, which is called the collision size. For example, when two units meet, they cannot pass through each other and will be stuck. This is due to the existence of the collision size. If collision is zero, then the two units can overlap. It should be noted that the collision size has nothing to do with the model size and the size of the circle when selected. Our wall do that is only a visual wall, which can only be passed through. Therefore, we need to add additional restricted path. In Edit Terrain, Collision column, select Ground Collision. If you draw too much, you can use the eraser tool on the panel to erase and modify. The movement type of the unit affects the type of collision that we should set. For example, in Object Editor, select a random unit, Tamago. The movement type of her is Ground Collision. That means Tamago will be locked by ground collision we just drew. If a unit's movement type is fly collision, then it will not be affected by ground collision. It will be able to move freely through the wall. After talking about the collision size, let's introduce another setting that increases the gameplay. Visual Occlusion Ground Vision Occlusion Entering the ground vision occlusion area, you cannot see outside units and the outside units cannot see you neither. Grass, you can see outside units, but outside units cannot see you. Destructibles are decoration with collisions that can be attacked and destroyed by certain abilities. Placement of destructibles is the same as do darts. We need to place a door that can be destroyed by attacks at the exit of the desert maze. Select the destructible in the game scene. The Edit Attribute section will be displayed on the right side of the interface. We can directly edit and modify the information here, including the name, location, rotate and scale. For further detail attribute edit, we can click on the Edit object below and it will jump on the Object Editor window. This door doesn't quite match our maze terrain. We can do some custom editing on it in the Object Editor. Select the door, go to Display and modify its model. In Resource Manager, select the model you like and replace it the original one. In addition, we need to draw the collision for the destructibles. There are two collisions for destructibles. One is the collision in the place state, and the other one is the collision after destruction. Click Collision Edit, select Ground, you can draw the collision by yourself, or click Generate Collision Automatically. Then you can modify if there is any deviation. For the collision after destruction, we can use the default No Collision. We can edit the attributes of the destructible door further under Alt Settings. We need to check Can Be Attacked 
and modify the health point of the door to 100. Back to the main interface, we can adjust to place the door in the right position with a 3-in-1 widget. For testing purpose, we also need to place a unit on the map. Here, we select RAM and place it on the map. Then, open the object editor. Select abilities. Find RAM's normal attack. In target filter type. Under Fixed Attributes, click to edit, tick the destructible, and click Apply. A complete desert maze is done now! Did you get it? Next class, we'll introduce Object Editor application. See you next time!